Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, continuing on with the comics, you're going to be saying, Chris, you never got this before, and you'll see why I got it in a second. Avengers, The Initiative, number 31, tying into Siege, The Cabal. Now, when this comic was advertised, they said that this comic was tying into Siege, not Siege, The Cabal. Um, basically, Norman Osborn uh, appoints Taskmaster, you know, he invites... Uh, Taskmaster to join his group of his cabal and that's basically the entire gist of the comic book Taskmaster being part of the cabal basically the beginning of the comic book takes place before the uh, Siege of the Cabal and at the end of the comic it takes place after Siege of the Cabal it's like a it wraps around Siege of the Cabal you could stick that comic right in the middle of this comic and it just it's a filler it's an add-on to Siege of the Cabal it's up to you if you want to get this this really had nothing to do with Siege, really, the last page where Norman Osborn tells Taskmaster they're going to be invading Asgard is the only kind of getting things started for Siege. All comic books now um, that um, involve the Avengers or Dark Avengers are saying to be continued for Siege. Siege is coming out in January. Huge event. You guys should jump on that. It, it could be as big as Blackest Night in uh, DC Comics. So that's for this one. That's all I have to say for that one. And uh, no, I noticed I put the, the, the bad ones on top this time. Sorry, guys. World's Finest, number three, starring Supergirl and Batgirl with Catwoman in it also. Um, gee, what can I say about it? Um, it's a good comic. I'm enjoying it. Uh, next part involves Superman and, and Batman, uh, Dick Grayson, teaming up for the first time ever. I guess that, I guess this is, I kind of figured it out that this comic is preparing everybody for Superman, Batman when it starts up again, now that it's part of the continuity that it'll be Dick Grayson and Superman, not Bruce Wayne, for now, and Superman. So, uh, it, once again, if you're not into Superman and, and or Batman, and you really are like an avid collector of either franchise, this is not for you. I'll be honest with you, uh, it's four parts. The first two parts were eh. This part leads into the last part. Um, it It's an okay series. It's all right. It's up to you. Like I said, it depends how much of a fan you are of Superman and or Batman and the world's finest um, series. Next, the New Avengers number 60. Well... We get to the bottom of the um, machine that's attached to Luke Cage's heart. It turns out it was a tracker, but at the same time it was a bomb. Whole story at the end. Basically, they get the bomb out of Luke Cage, and they blow up one of Norman Osborn's summer homes. Really cool. And then the next comic, which of course says to be continued, uh, uh, Siege is next, uh, has Captain America Steve Rogers, which we will get to speaking of Captain America very soon, towards the end of this review. Uh, it's a great com. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the new Avengers. It's kind of weird, though, because I feel like I'm reading more about outlaws than actual heroes because they're always on the run from the law and from getting caught. So, it doesn't feel like the Avenger Avengers, like the old Avengers. And I'm guessing and hoping that after Siege, we'll get that feeling of the original Avengers again, not being on the run from the law or anything like that. But, um, it's a different take, I guess, of the Avengers. It's a very interesting story. Next month's issue is going to be uh, jump-on friendly for anyone. A lot of issues are going to be jump-on friendly in January for those of you who wish to start collecting. Would I say get this? I get, yeah, I would say get it, but get the two parts before it. Or the three... However many parts were before it, get those first. This is not jump-on friendly because you're going to jump in and say, oh, what's going on? Why has Luke Cage got something on his heart? Etc. Etc. Very good comic, though. I'm enjoying it. It's the only Avengers book I get, um, other than Dark Avengers, but that's only because of the Siege. And now we go into Amazing Spider-Man 616. The last part of Sandman, of course. Electro's part was completely, complete, utter crap. And Sandman's, which is actually more interesting, only has two parts. Uh, you sit with this first. Okay, well... This is actually the first time you see Spider-Man do something that he shouldn't have. 
He saves the girl from Sandman, who doesn't want to be saved from Sandman. She wants to stay with Sandman, but Spider-Man doesn't let her. In the end, they find that her parents, her grandparent, her grandmother, isn't fit to uh, protect her, uh, so they put her in a foster home. First time ever Spider-Man gets like that. He helped the girl, but at the same time he really didn't, because she was better off with Sandman. So this is like that first time that Spider-Man kind of did something you wish he wouldn't have done. It was good. Uh, next one I'm guessing is the next part of the gauntlet is going to be Rhino. Um, they're, they advertise uh, The Amazing Spider-Man Presents Jackpot. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get that series. It's a three-part series. It's uh, maybe. I'll see what comes out the week. Part one comes out. And if I have, you know, if I want, I'll grab it. But uh, this advertises Jackpot, not Rhino. So I'm guessing Rhino is coming out in two weeks. So it gives you time to soak in uh, Sandman. I like Sandman. I like the two parts of the gauntlet with Sandman. I thought the story was good, and I thought the ending was kind of like that kind of twist ending that, you know, the good guy didn't do good for once. He actually should have left things the way they were. I'd say get it. I'd say get this and get the part before it. This was good, the Sandman part, in my opinion. The Sandman part was better than Electro. Okay, so now we're heading into Uncanny X-Men Nation X. Uh, Uncanny X-Men number 515. 515? No, 516. I knew that was sounded wrong. Number 516. And the cover says it all. Beast leaves. But before Beast leaves, um, Emma Frost goes into Scott Summers' mind to uh, contain and or get rid of the Void. In the end, Scott Summers takes control of the Void. Um, Magneto uh, goes to Namor. Who, and he's trying to keep the island afloat. They find out that the Predator X's were not meant to kill the X-Men. The X-Men were meant to kill the Predator X's, which released something in the air, which, are, which is studying all the X-Men and the mutants on the island. And that basically sums up everything in this book. In the end, Scott Summers comes out of everything, and he contains the void. The end. Or so we see. Um, next, ep next comic has Wolverine on the cover. So... Two to one, some badass stuff is going to happen in the next cover. This was a good comic. Um, you could tell Beast has a lot of issues going on right now, especially after the Dark Avengers, X-Men, Utopia um, storyline. So I'd say pick this up, but get a few parts before it. Get the whole Nation X. Nation X is, I'm finding it interesting. Not as interesting as Astonishing, but I'm guessing Astonishing is kind of connected with this because you don't see them going to the X-Mansion and Astonishing as much as um, they usually do. Hopefully after Siege, once again, things will start to piece back together the right way in the norms, as they say, for the Marvel Universe. It's a good comic, though, nonetheless. I know Nation X isn't going to be around forever, so it's that's why I'm saying it's nice. If it was a permanent thing, I'd be completely against it. Okay. Uh, Superman number 695, Diamond number 21. Uh, gee, um, like I said, I enjoyed the part, uh, before this, where mon came back. I'm enjoying, uh, I enjoyed this part where mon at the end of the last comic, he lost his powers. By the middle of this comic, he got his powers back. Um, it's basically all leading up to Superman, the, um, uh, uh, War of the Superman, whatever DC's calling that event. I'm really kind of like, Clint cringing with this I you know it's like I understand DC wants to make Superman the main focus um, you know to beef them up but when they do that they look to make big trouble uh, they, they do changes that people don't like people like me who collect Superman for years uh, once again if you collect Superman get it it's good it's passable but if you don't collect Superman, wait till, like I said, New Krypton's bullshit's over. It'll be over in another two months, or another month now, thank you God. And I'm getting the fingers, so I will catch you guys back here for part three. So, stay tuned.